It's happening right now. Hurricanes Helene and Milton have already struck in 2024, leaving devastation in their wake. But what if I told you these two massive storms are just the latest in a long history of nature's most destructive forces? What are hurricanes, how do they form, and why do they seem to be getting stronger every year? Stick around because, in this video, we're diving into the incredible science of hurricanes, their history, how we track them, and most importantly, how you can stay safe in their aftermath. First, let's start with the basics. What exactly is a hurricane? Imagine an engine powered by the ocean's heat. A hurricane is a tropical cyclone, and it forms over warm waters, spinning with intense winds, heavy rains, and storms that can stretch for miles. They are classified by wind speed, from a Category 1 with winds up to 95 miles per hour, to the terrifying Category 5, where wind speeds exceed 157 miles per hour. These aren't just storms. They're nature's power on full display. Hurricanes don't just occur in the Atlantic. Similar storms happen in various parts of the world, though they're known by different names depending on the region. In the Pacific Ocean, these storms are called typhoons, while in the Indian Ocean and Southwest Pacific, they're referred to as cyclones. Despite the different names, hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones are all the same type of tropical cyclone, fueled by warm ocean waters and causing similar destruction. So, no matter the name, these powerful storms can impact coastal areas across the globe. But how do they come to life? How are hurricanes formed? Picture this, over warm ocean waters, heated air rises from the surface. As it rises, it cools, and the water vapor condenses to form clouds. But here's where the real magic, or terror, begins. As the air rises, more air rushes in beneath to fill the gap. This creates a spinning motion thanks to the Earth's rotation. If conditions are just right, this spinning system starts feeding off the warm ocean below, growing larger and stronger until it becomes the monster we call a hurricane. Now, hurricanes have been around for as long as we can remember, and some have left a lasting impact on history. Hurricane Katrina in 2005 stands out, over 1,800 lives lost, with New Orleans submerged in floodwaters. And who could forget Hurricane Andrew in 1992 tearing apart southern Florida with winds that obliterated entire neighborhoods? Hurricanes have always been with us, and they've reshaped not just landscapes, but entire societies. The deadliest hurricane in recorded history is the Great Hurricane of 1780, which ravaged the Caribbean in October of that year. Known as the 1780 San Calixto Hurricane, it killed an estimated 22,000 to 27,000 people, decimating the islands of Barbados, Martinique, and St. Lucia with its catastrophic winds and storm surges. The hurricane struck during the American Revolutionary War, adding to the chaos as both British and French fleets were heavily damaged. Despite the centuries that have passed, no hurricane has since matched the death toll of this devastating storm. And now, in October 2024, Hurricanes Helene and Milton have written their own chapters in the story of natural disasters. Just days ago, Hurricane Helene struck with winds of 140 miles per hour, a ferocious Category 4 storm that battered the southeastern coast. Entire communities were flooded, homes torn apart, and the power grid left in shambles. Emergency responders are still on the ground, assessing the damage and aiding those affected. But even as Helene's destruction lingers, Hurricane Milton followed right on her heels. Milton made landfall just a few days after, with winds reaching 125 miles per hour. While not as strong as Helene, Milton brought torrential rains and severe flooding, compounding the already dire situation. Back-to-back -back hurricanes of this magnitude are rare, and the cleanup efforts will be long and challenging. But how do we know all of this? How do we track hurricanes? This is where modern technology steps in. Satellites orbiting high above Earth give us a bird's eye view of storm systems forming over the oceans. When a tropical disturbance begins to spin, meteorologists track its growth using radar, computer models, and reconnaissance planes known as hurricane hunters. These planes fly directly into the storm, gathering real-time data on wind speeds, pressure, and storm structure. With this information, meteorologists can predict where the hurricane will go and how intense it will become. But remember, even with all this tech, hurricanes can still be unpredictable, so staying informed is key. So, how can you prepare for a hurricane? First off, if you live in a coastal area, preparation starts well before hurricane season. Stock up on essentials like water, 
non-perishable food, batteries, and first aid supplies. Always have an emergency kit ready. But when a hurricane warning is issued, it's time to act fast. Board up windows, secure outdoor furniture, and make sure you have an evacuation plan. Don't wait until the last minute. Follow the advice of local authorities, and if they say evacuate, evacuate. Lives are worth more than property. But let's say you've survived the storm. What comes next? The aftermath of a hurricane can sometimes be even more dangerous than the storm itself. Flooding is a major concern, rivers overflow, storm surges inundate coastal areas, and roads become impassable. Power outages can last for days or weeks, making access to clean water and food difficult. There's also the risk of debris, downed trees, power lines, and collapsed structures, making the environment hazardous. Communities like those hit by Helene and Milton are dealing with all of this right now. The double punch of these storms has left widespread devastation, with emergency services stretched thin. The rebuilding process will take months, if not years, and the emotional toll on the affected residents is hard to quantify. So can we prevent hurricanes? Unfortunately, we can't stop hurricanes from forming. They're a natural part of Earth's climate system driven by warm ocean waters and atmospheric conditions, but we can take steps to mitigate their impact. First, by building stronger, more resilient infrastructure in vulnerable areas, elevated homes, reinforced buildings, and improved flood defenses can make a huge difference when the next storm hits. Now that Hurricane Milton has passed, it's time to focus on recovery. Check in on your neighbors, reach out to local authorities for assistance, and start documenting any damage for insurance claims. But most importantly, stay safe. Flooded areas can hide dangers, and downed power lines are a major hazard. If this video has helped you better understand hurricanes and how to prepare, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content that could one day save your life. Stay informed, stay safe, and remember, knowledge is your greatest defense against the storm. Thanks for watching, and as always, respect the storm, but never underestimate your ability to overcome it. Stay safe, everyone.